What's going on guys, Adam here. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Not been on, not been on here for a little while, have I? Anyway, thanks for joining back in. Today we've got another unboxing video. It's a little bit different. We have sourced from none other than George Ross. So, been messaging George on Instagram. We've done a deal for these two boxes here, 200 pounds. Uh, yeah, no idea what's in them. So we're gonna crack it open together, see what we get. Um, been messaging George a few times, so back and forth on Instagram. Uh, I've met George a few times as well, so I completely trust George with my money. Um, and I noticed he was overflowing with stock, and I wasn't. So I took the opportunity to reach out to George and say, hey, look, I'm in the market. If you want to do some deals, I'm happy to, you know, sort something out, really. So I gave my budget £200, and he's filled out his two boxes for me. Uh, so let's see what we get. Right, let's put you up here. Is that comfortable? You happy there? I think so. What's going on? Right, two boxes. Oh god, this is a good start. I haven't even got scissors to open it. What am I gonna do? I have to use my sh my muscles. My oh, you know what? Going to the gym, no problem. No problem. Right, the first one, he did say look, one of them is filled with clothing and footwear, the other one is filled with other stuff. Don't ask me, I have no idea either. Right, so this one here I've opened, I can see footwear and clothing. Let's get into it. bag for life. Right, that's already 20p. I'm 20p up already. That's what you were looking at. <laughs> right, start off with some Converse. Classic Converse, really nice clean condition. I'm missing a lace. It's really like, it's like almost like a, a light blue colour. I've not seen that colour of wear before. It's quite nice. Chuck a pair of white laces, they will fly out, no problem at all. We've got a pair. Oh, these are nice. These are nice. These, Anything football related, it's right up my street. We have a Adidas, what's this? Uh, Etero, Etero, just like indoor football boots. You know, that's like kind of the classic colorway for Adidas. Let me chuck on a light. Is that gonna be any better? Uh, kinda, let's go with it. We've got a pair of golf shoes. Um, we've got, oh, these are nice. These are really nice. I've sold these ones before as well, actually in a brown colorway. So these are the Adidas, what are they? Z Traction. Um, they're missing, I think they're missing one grip there, as you can see, but that's fine. Overall, getting nice, clean condition. Um, yeah, really nice. Good start. Oh my goodness. These are really nice. These are a lovely pair. I say they're nice, they need a little bit of a scrub, but these are a lovely, I love the colorway. Anything like Air Force One, but not the white black ones. Anything that's kind of a little bit different like these ones, almost like the tan ones, right up my street, so yeah. Again, really nice. Um, what, what are we looking? I'm not sure on the, on the size. Size 5.5, so probably like, yeah, probably a women's one. They need a bit of a clean, but even with that, that should go well. Next up, we've got a just another pair of indoor Nike, uh, was it, FTs, uh, indoor football boots. Uh, again, good size, strong size. We've got another pair of Air Force Ones. Yeah, bread and butter items, I love them. The Air Force Ones are like right up my street. Um, so yeah, again, these are like comfortably 20, 25 pounds. Probably about 20 pounds. I think they've come down a little bit. I think, I've not sold. I've got a few in stock. I just haven't listed them in a little while. So, um, but I always pick them up and then it's kind of a classic pair of feelers. So yeah, nice. that's a great start to be honest with you. That's, that's a super, super cool start. Now we're gonna crack into the clothing. It's a, it's a completely raw video. We're gonna do it all in one take. It's my style, I've got time to edit. We've got a Tommy Hilfiger, like denim jacket. This is quite nice. Little Hilfiger, look, kind of, that's nice. That's nice. Little Hilfiger, Hilfiger jacket to be going. We've got a Polo Ralph Lauren, kind of a, like grey cotton. I might actually keep that one, quite nice. Next up we have Harley Davidson. Lovely little kind of logo here at the back. Harley Davidson t-shirt. Next up we have another polo raffler on. Small, but again, it's, an, it's like with, with the polo stuff, I always look out for the sizing because sometimes it's, like it's so shrunken, but they, these, are, these are true to size. Again, I actually keep that one. Next up we have, it's like a retro vintage Reebok jacket. Do you know what, Reebok holds a little special place in my heart for some reason. I do like a little Reebok. Tell you by kind of the logo, how old the logo is there. But really nice kind of like, you know, navy blue jacket. Again, that was really well on Depop. Next up we have a Polo Sport Ralph Lauren quarter zip. 
fleece. Okay, that's really nice. Really, really nice. XL. Yeah, again, good size. Again, good clean condition. Next up, we have a St. John's Bay. Almost like a, like a reworked shirt. I've not seen that before, but again, that's super cool. I've not had like a reworked shirt like this before. I'm not too sure if that's on purpose. I think it is. It's nice. Really, really nice. Not heard of the brand before, but I think this is sometimes the benefit of, of doing bulk deals or buying from wholesalers or buying, in this case, buying from another reseller because you do learn a lot. Uh, next up, we have like, almost like this like army jacket. Is that Belgium? That's a Belgian flag on the side. Um, I'm not sure if it's, if it's I don't think, I think it's, I think it's unbranded. Preta, I think that's unbranded. But either way, again, that's quite a nice little style. that go well on Depop. This is nice. It's like the old Das jacket there. Um, again, I think that's a, is that the Dutch team? I'm not too sure. Adidas equipment looks quite, again, looks retro or vintage. Uh, not too sure on the size, really smaller, smaller men's size. Next up we have just a classic Levi hoodie, navy hoodie, kind of, again, bread and butter stuff. Next up we have an Elise dark gray, at least a hit the front there. Zip hoodie. We have a Napa Giorgio Alfic. I've never heard of this brand before. Apologies, I've no idea what I'm looking at. What's that? Nara PG? I'm sure you guys are shouting at the screen going, oh my God, this guy is so dumb. Nara, I mean, the, the, the logo, I don't know what it, you know, it looks cool. <laughs> Next up we have another Polo quarter zip. Probably smaller men's or, or large kids size, that one. Next up we have, oh, this is nice. Real tree, like cargo jacket. This is like big for like, uh, like fishing and hiking, all that stuff, um, or shooting. That's really, really nice. Again, I can see that selling very, very strongly. So we've got a couple of shirts. We have a Hugo Boss regular fit uh, red strap shirt. Next up, we have a Burberry. This is nice. 17 inch collar, just like short sleeve white. Again, that was sold really well when we come up to summer. We've got a brand new Polo Ralph Lauren, reversible belt, new with tags. And you've got the black, and you've got like a little navy hit there. Um, Kenny's okay, got this little stuff like that. That's nice. Again, that was sold really strongly, new with tags. And finally, in the clothing box, we have another Tommy Hilfiger full zip hoodie. Good start. Round two. Whatever tape this is, George, it's shocking. Never use this to tape anything up. It just... <laughs> right, this is the, I say miscellaneous box because I've no idea what's in there. Um, but I can already spot a couple of bolos, by the way. So. Something that I've never picked up, but I see everyone else pick up. Atmosphere, the game. Uh, yeah, I know these sell strongly. I don't know the price, 20, 30 pounds. Don't quote me on that. That's a writer, let's quote me on that. Um, so yeah, good, good start. Next up we have a, a pair of walkie-talkies. Been a tone, I think this is just a pair of walkie-talkies. Uh, Nice little travel case. Next up we have, what on earth is this? Oh, this is cool, like a really, like a vintage Pepsi gift, gift set there. Next up we have another vintage ball game. I pick up vintage ball games and I list them pretty much in Q4. Other than that, I just keep them on my shelves. I don't even bother, I, well, Unless I get round to it, I just hold them to Q4 because they just sell for much better value. This is again a vintage Spears Games wildlife um, ball game. Again, something I would pick up if I saw it out in the wild. No pun intended. Next up we have the Adams Family. Mate, ooh, the Adams Family. Weird is relative, I love a bit of weird. I love weird people. Um, yeah, again, something I'd pick up. Anything like unusual that you don't see often, like ball games wise, I would pick it up. Next up we have 
a couple of remotes, a couple of remotes, a Sony one and a, a random one? I don't know, don't know what that is. Uh, we have a, open and do some bits of it all the time. I don't even know what I'm looking for when I pick these up. This one's very good condition. This one, looks, this one looks, seems to be fine. I'm sure it opened somewhere and we can check that it's all good. Polaroid camera. Next up we have, oh, very nice. We have a Dyson Hoover. Okay, just needs a little bit of clean. Um, it's got the battery in it, battery pack. Dyson, stuff like this just sells so strongly. Even the, the accessories, I've had just literally the, the brush head before that goes for like 30 pound for the brush head. So what that unit would be worth is probably gonna be a lot more than that. Or about that. <laughs> Next up we have a vintage BT telephone system. Look at that. You put your, look, you put your 10p, 20p, 50p, one pound in there. Dial the number. How cool is that? Really, really, what's this? It must be what, 90s, 80s, something like that. Again, that's really cool. This is stuff that, like, it's gonna help me learn a lot about because I don't often pick this up. You know, I'm too hesitant to pick this up because I don't know enough about it, where George probably knows a bit more about that than me. So yeah, I can now learn, by listing and selling it, I can learn a bit more about that market and about telephones. Because I know, again, there's some good money in some vintage telephones, but not all of them. So yeah. Next up, we have a Nestle. Dolce Gusta, Gusto, uh, coffee machine, I believe. Coffee machines, again, they, coffee machines sell well for me. You know, the brands, I don't pick up DeLonghi. If it's a decent DeLonghi brand, I will pick it up. Um, again, this one just looks like a decent bit of a wipe over um, and a bit of a test. Apart from that, we should be good. We have more remotes, more remotes. Again, just random Sony's, uh, Attaches, Philips. They do sell well because you know what it's like when you've lost a remote for your TV and you've got like a TV that's like however old. And you, just, you cannot find a remote. You've got to go on eBay and you've got to pay, like, you know, you've got to pay five, 10 quid to get another one. So these are just like nice, easy, and they don't take up too much space. You can bung them all in a quick, in a bag and just sell them throughout the year. We've got a couple of cameras. We've got a, uh, Milo, min, Milota, min, Milota, 35 mil lens. So that's the only thing I know about cameras. Look out for the 35 mil lens. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but um, it served me quite well so far. Uh, we have a Rico camera next. Again, another 35 mil lens. Sorry, it looks like maybe he has a similar uh, strategy to me. 35 mil lenses seem to do okay. You know, it's kind of like little compact cameras. So yeah. Um, no idea on, on the resale value, but look, I'm, I'm fairly sure my money is more than safe in this box already. We have a Lord of the Rings game next. Um, Hasbro again, looks quite retro. Uh, again, went for Q4 and that will be listed. Next up, we have more remotes. More remotes. More, 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 more. I think, I think he's got, I think he's given me his remote collection. And if, if anyone needs a remote, let me know. We've got a, a silver, a silver bracelet. A silver bracelet. It says silver on it, so it must be true. Um, I need to do some more research there. Again, jewellery is not my, it's not my scene because I don't know enough about it, and I think that's important. If you don't know enough about it. Unless it's a few quid and it's worth a gamble, give it a try, but you know, stay in your lane a little bit. I normally try and stay in my lane and I, I do experiment, but I don't go too far off the path, you know. Uh, next up we have a another plastic bag. This one's a far P bag, though, so it's not as it's not worth as much as the uh the uh <laughs> bag for life we got earlier. So I'm opening this up now. It looks like it's just got some Oh okay, it's got a if this is more remote, George. <laughs> We've got a JVC video camera. Again, something again I don't normally pick up too often because I don't know enough about them. Um, I normally pick them up if they've got the 
uh, it's like a cassette to VHS adapter because that adapter is worth like 20, 25 pound alone. So I know if, if, if it's got a set, if it's got that in it, I pick it up because I know my money's safe. And then like, then I can just learn. So this is a compact VHS camera, JVC, comes with the battery, the charger. Um, I'll try and test it as much as I can. It looks in good, clean condition. So again, this is super cool. And that is the last item. So we've got absolutely tons to get on with. And that concludes the unboxing. So yeah, massive shout out to George. I've no idea how much these are worth, but I can guarantee you it's worth more than 200 pounds. Probably looking to at least double, probably nearing triple my money. Just as, an, as a guess, um, I reckon I'll be at least three times my money there. So yeah, thanks so much, George. That is a fantastic deal. Um, and yeah, lots of, for me to get on with, lots to learn as well, which is super cool. Some bits I don't normally pick up, so it gives me an opportunity to learn. Um, yeah, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll catch up with you guys soon.